Making more plants. Many plants reproduce by making seeds that grow into new plants. But for flowering plants to make seeds, the flowers first need to be pollinated. Pollination happens when tiny grains of powder, called pollen, are moved from one flower to another of the same species. Most plants depend on animals and blowing wind to carry pollen for them. But in this chapter, you'll learn or read about some tricksters that don't just wait for help to come. Kidnapped. You might be surprised to learn that this giant water lily is a kidnapper. Well, beetle napper. When it first opens in the evening, the lily seed sends out a sweet perfume that lures scarab beetles into its center. Once the beetles are feasting on the sugar and starch they find there, the lily closes its white petals. The beetles are trapped, but they're not worried. There's plenty to eat and it's much warmer than outside. Besides, their captivity lasts only 24 hours. When the lily opens the next evening, the beetles, now covered with pollen, are free to fly to another giant water lily and pollinate it. Strangely, after the beetles leave a pollinated flower, it turns from white to pink. Then it slowly sinks into the water where it works on making a new seed. Giant water lily, where it grows, Colombia, Peru, Brazil, and Bolivia. A giant water lily can be as wide as a large dinner plate. Exploding flowers. Many plants open their flowers to attract pollinators, but not the scarlet mistletoe. Its summer blooms stay closed until they are opened with a magic key. The tui and the bellbird are the only types of birds that can unlock the flowers on these bushes. When looking for a ripe flower to open, these birds grab the flower bud in their beak and give it a sharp twist. The flower's petals instantly pop open and surprise! The bird's feathers are showered with pollen. After enjoying the sweet nectar of one flower, the bird moves on to pop open another bud. Each flower it visits is pollinated with the pollen from the previous flower. Scarlet mistletoe, summer, where it grows, New Zealand. Scarlet mistletoe, autumn, where it grows, New Zealand. Since these mistletoe shrubs grow high up on tree branches, they must take advantage of the birds to distribute their seeds. The birds are lured by the plant's pea-sized fruit, which they devour. When the seed of the fruit passes through a bird's gut, a hard outer coating comes off, leaving a sticky seed. When the bird poops, the undigested seed lands on a tree branch where it stays stuck and starts life as a new plant. What is that smell? Warning, do not try to sniff a starfish flower. Also known as the carrion flower, this plant smells like the rotting flesh of dead animal. Not pleasant to humans, but to flies, the smell is simply irresistible, like the perfect place to lay their eggs. Flies will de deposit their eggs in poop or on carrion decaying flesh, so their larvae will have plenty to eat when they hatch. When a fly lands on a starfish flower, it finds leathery, hairy petals that feel like a dead animal's body and nectar that resembles the liquids from a decaying carcass. As the fly sips the nectar, it picks up pollen to carry to the next flower it visits. It also leaves its eggs behind, but the maggots that hatch will not survive. After all, there's no real rotten meat for them to eat. Starfish Flower where it grows throughout southern Africa. The starfish flower is one of the largest in the plant world. Masterful Deceptions Orchids may be beautiful, but they are also masters of deception. 
For instance, with its fringe of red hair's metallic blue lip and side lobes that resemble wings, the mirror orchid looks very much like a female scallop wasp. And it smells like one too. It sends out a chemical that tricks the male wasp into thinking the flower is a female wasp. When the male tries to mate with it, two of the orchid's pollen sacs become attached to the male wasp's head. Once he realizes he's been duped, he flies off to another orchid, where he will leave the pollen he just picked up. Mirror Orchid Where it grows? Portugal, Spain, France, Italy, Switzerland, Bosnia, Croatia, Turkey, Syria, Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia. Eastern Marsh Helleborine Orchid, where it grows, Cyprus, and throughout the Middle East. The Eastern Marsh Helleborine Orchid has a different crafty trick. Its flower gives off chemicals that smell like the alarm signals emitted by aphids when they are in danger. When female hoverflies smell this scent, they rush to the orchid. Why? Hoverflies usually lay their eggs near aphids, which make perfect baby food for their newly hatched larvae. In the process of laying their eggs, the hoverflies pollinate the flower. When the larvae eventually hatch, there are no aphids to eat, and they die. Seeds in Disguise Dung beetles are duped not only into dispersing ceratocarium argentium seeds, but into planting them too. The grass-like plant has large hard seeds that look and smell a lot like the dung or poop of antelopes. And dung beetles love dung. They spend much of their time rolling balls of dung to a safe place where they bury them to eat or lay their eggs in later. To an unsuspecting dung beetle, the seeds might seem perfect for this. Only later, when they try to eat the hard seeds or lay eggs in them, do the beetles realize that they've been cheated. Yet, they just don't seem to learn. They keep rolling and burying those dung balls, all for the good of the plant. Ceratocarium argentium, where it grows, South Africa. Dung beetles can roll dung balls that are 50 times their body weight and do it upside down and backward. No cheaters allowed. Snapdragons are experts at outsmarting cheater insects, ones that are so small they can steal nectar from a flower without picking up pollen or leaving some behind. The plant just won't let these insects enter its flower. But for fat and fuzzy bumblebees, snapdragons put out the welcome mat. Snapdragon, where it grows? Parts of North, Central, and South America, Europe, Asia, and Africa. The snapdragon's welcome mat is its differently colored lower lip, which guides the bee to the flower's opening. Bumblebees are perfect for brushing against the snapdragon's anthers, the pollen-producing part of a flower. And what about those cheater insects? Lightweight insects don't have a chance. Only the weight of a bumblebee on the flower's lower lip can open the snapdragon's mouth. Seed Hitchhikers If you've ever walked along a riverbank or through a field, it's possible that a burdock plant has tricked you into dispersing its seeds. Burdock is a weed that grows spiny seed pods called burrs. Each burr contains 20 or 40 seeds. When you brush against the plant, the burr's tiny hooks stick to your clothes. Why do they do this? The burrs are hitching a ride away from their parent plant. When they eventually come off, they will hopefully land where their seeds can grow with less competition for nutrients, water, and light. Burdock plant. Where it grows? Europe, Asia, North America, Greenland, and parts of South America and Africa. Thanks to burdock, we now have Velcro. Actually, it's really thanks to Swiss engineer George de Mistral, who got the idea for Velcro after trying to remove burdock burrs from his dog's fur. Grapple 
plant where it grows parts of southern Africa. The grapple plant, also known as the devil's claw, is also a hitchhiker, but a much nastier one. Its, seeds ca its seed case has 12 to 16 arms with sharp hooked thorns that can become embedded in the soft flesh of grazing animals, crippling them. Luckily for the plant, it lives in the same ecosystem as elephants, rhinos, and ostriches. These animals have such tough feet that they can step on the spiny seeds case without noticing and carry it for miles until it falls off. 